Hey guys, today we're going to be unboxing and building a, another PC fan DIY kit. So this is from Canada, it's from Northbox Systems. Robert, who, who's the founder over there, he got in touch um, and wanted us to, to review it. He did offer to send us one for free, but as always, we said, look, we prefer to pay with our own money, and he kindly was okay with that, and he was happy for to send a device for us to the UK. We paid $220 plus $35 in, in postage, and that is just for the bare kit. So if you're in Canada, they do options uh, where they build it for you, and also, I believe, including the deluxe kit where they include the filters as well. So let's have a look at it. Uh, it's very similar to the Luggable XL, but then this one uses a six fans, uh, so three on each side, whereas the Luggable has four and two. Um, but yeah, let's let's just jump into it and have a look at the device. So we've this will be the third PC fan kit device that we've tested. Right, so that looks good. Here we have what we come with the kit. So I assume this will be the power supply, and I imagine this will be a US Canadian. And then the power supply connectors for the fans. And then these are some more power supplies that connect up, as well as some attachments. So I have seen, there is a really good video on how to put this together. I've watched it pretty much. Uh, I have it available on the laptop if I need it. Um, but it, it seems pretty simple. It's similar to, does feel seem, seem similar to the clean air kits. And let's open it up and I'll show you. So they have these plastic top bits, uh, as well as the tape. This is nice to see that they've done that work for you. Um, and we're gonna see, now let's have a look. Now there may be some instructions. Ah! One bit of feedback would be, it would be good to get, similar to what we saw with Clean Air Kits, with uh, just an instruction, just for, any chance I have to not look at a screen, I appreciate. So, but it was a good video, very clear. Uh, hopefully I will show you that I understand it. And the first thing that you will do is put in the fans on the, in the guards. So these are the fans we're gonna be using. I'm not sure these are the actual recommended uh, models. I think these are a little bit more expensive. These are the Arctic P14 Max. So we will see if that makes a difference. Now the key, key thing to know when putting the fans yeah, in the guard is just to make sure that the logo, the Arctic A, or whatever logo you have is, is facing up. Now I've done this before with the clean air kits and you just have to kind of press it in. So this is the 6XL model. So we have six, six fans, which would mean that it's gonna be Pretty good KDAR, I imagine, so for maybe larger spaces. Um, okay, so that's the six fans put together. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the next stage first. We're just gonna build it. As you can see, I'm finding it a little tricky to put this in, but I don't know if it's just my technique. Okay, that's fitted in, so. I mean, it did mention that to put it on its side, the video is much better than this, if you really want to know how to do it. Okay, so. <sighs> we have the front. Now, I'm going to put it on the floor and just see if I can make it happen. So apologies, you can't see me, but I am on the floor. Obviously on the second camera. But, I am happy to say, this is completely the wrong side, but it's, Done, okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is probably keep it down for now and then add these screws. So the hook goes inside and put this in here. So I, just being honest, I think it is a bit trickier than the clean air kits. I don't know if it's just the, maybe the lack of paper instructions for me. I didn't have anything to reference, so maybe there was stuff there that I... So then we're gonna add one of these, one of these hooks where there is a spare hole. So there isn't a, on one of the fans, one of the fans has a, just a hole instead of a, okay. 
I think the next stage will be to, now we add the, the elastic, put it into each hook that's inside. So yeah, there we have our kind of main construction. We're gonna now put the cables together. So if you've ever built a computer, same as with the Nuket Tempest, these are the same type of power supplies that we see with those devices. And yeah, if you, you'll be more recognize them. So let's make sure this is kept out of the way for the test. And let's see how it goes. Ooh, looks good. Took a minute to just kick in, but yeah, all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. We've done it pretty much at this point, but now we just have to clean all this kind of rat's mess of, so I just think, get it, get it good enough. So let me try now with putting the, the fans in. I think I need to open the fans actually. We have the three M filters that they recommend. I've used similar filters, I think, in the, I think these are the same that we've got. Same brand, but also same kind of series of filters that we saw with the Luggable. So, and the Luggable did really well. Yeah, these look really nice, filtrates. And, but they mentioned that you can use any MERV 13 filters. There's now the thing to watch for with the filters. So this is the bottom. You wanna make sure that the air is pushing, the direction of the air is going upwards. So on here we can see the direction of air is going in. Side in, and then they did mention in the video just pushing it out a little bit. Thought it wasn't a bad thing that landed came slightly. <laughs> yep, that went in pretty easily to be fair. So that should hopefully it's a good side on it. I'm gonna do the other side now. Oh, well, you have to use the tool a little bit more in the clean air kits design. So yeah, that went in pretty easy. Now it doesn't come with a grill, so here is our device. So if we can plug it in. So it kicks in a little bit initially and then it just goes straight to it. But now this is running at full power. So for this Northbox 6XL, we're gonna be testing it in the same way we test all of our air purifiers. In the same room, doing the same test, removing incense smoke, and we're going to time and track how quickly it is able to remove PM1, PM2.5, and PM10. And then we're going to look at how quiet it is, uh, how much energy it uses, and compare it with all of the 80 plus devices we've already tested. So, yeah, thank you for the guys over there. Uh, we paid for this device as we pay for all of our devices, but they were very helpful in making sure they could send it to the UK. Um, and yeah, thanks for the video without that. <laughs> I probably would have found it a little trickier to put together.